Hello, and welcome to another episode of the uh, WWE 2K23 Birthday Championship Series. And here's today's challenger, the birthday boy himself, Santos Escobar. Fans are singing very loudly. Um, so as is traditional, the uh, birthday boy, or in some cases birthday girl, but in this case birthday boy, gets to choose the setting for their championship match. And Santos Escobar feels at home in NXT, at least compared with the champion, who, as far as I'm aware, never competed in NXT beyond actually as a contestant in the old game show days, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Santos Escobar definitely uh, sees this as like home ground in that he's actually, you know, had some amazing matches, won some uh, important battles, won a championship or two um, here, whereas his opponent has run around with a barrel or something. I don't know. Anyway, so here's the current birthday champion. Having won the championship yesterday, literally yesterday was Titus O'Neil's birthday and he won the championship. So he could be a one day wonder if he loses here. He's going to be trying to avoid that fate as best he can. Now we're talking, someone not a fan of Santos Escobar, but a big Titus fan. And now we're talking. So, big task ahead of Santos Escobar in the most literal sense. Titus O'Neil is a big boy. Very big boy. Exactly, exactly, Titus. But uh, Santos Escobar is, like, a, an exceptional athlete. Like, he will not be worried about fighting someone bigger than himself. He will have a strategy. He's an excellent thinker and strategist, but he's also just a, an amazing high flyer and, and technical wrestler. So he'll be able to hold his own here, but you do always have to be cautious when you find someone so much bigger than yourself because, you know, one hit from them probably hurts you more than one hit from you hurts them. So you've got to be, you've got to be a little bit cautious. Anyway, here we go. They meet in the middle. And Escobar fires Titus O'Neil into the corner. Double knees in the corner. Quick start by Escobar. He's got to keep the pace super fast in this match. If it slows down, it favors Titus. And his power game. Oh, a suplex with the ha a snap suplex with the hammerlock applied. Trying to take out the uh, strength game of Titus O'Neil. Damaging the arm. Arm drag. And so far, Santos Escobar has had the perfect strategy, DDT. And I know it's been a perfect strategy because so far he's been completely dominant in this match. Titus has not had an offensive maneuver just yet. And the longer that Escobar can keep this up, the better as far as he's concerned. Kicks to the face, snap elbow drop to the kidney. Escobar's just targeting anything he can. Oh, O'Neill moved out the way of that second elbow drop though. Oh, and then just runs through Escobar. And goes for a pin. Santos got a one before. Titus gets a one now. But now this is where Escobar has to readjust the uh, momentum. Oh, elbows to the side of the head. They'll do that. Oh, three of them will make Titus drop him. And a jawbreaker. Well, I said he needed to. And he listened because he has turned the tide once again. And Titus O'Neil only had a very brief flurry of offense there. Uh, and now it's back to Santos Escobar being in charge. Into the corner goes Titus O'Neil. Escobar lifts him up. What's he got in mind here? Up into a fireman's carry. Oh my god, he's going to climb the ropes with Titus O'Neil on his shoulders. Oh, and just drops him in the top turnbuckle. Someone the size and weight of Titus O'Neil. That's going to hurt a hell of a lot. Great strength shown by uh, Santos Escobar there. Two. Three. He got him. That was borderline a squash match. Very impressive. And Titus O'Neil is indeed a one-day wonder. Santos Escobar is our new 
WWE 2K23 birthday champion. And there's his championship. Leave a like if you enjoyed this match and this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.